everybody, Jess here with a special message for all my future sister missionaries. Did you know I create a monthly newsletter full of advice just for sister missionaries? You can subscribe on sundayjess.com, enter your mission info if you have your call, or if you haven't received your call yet, you can still take advantage of this special discount code just for my YouTube viewers. Use code YouTube25 for 25% off your subscription. Thanks for supporting my small business, and let's get into this old vlog from my mission. Okay, hey, um, it is Sunday night, March 13th, and oh my gosh, as I told you, like, we've been working really hard this last week, and it's been really cool, and today, for once, Sunday did not suck. Sundays are kind of rough. Um, there's, like, no one ever home, we just walk all day, and I know, it's frustrating. The word here is very frustrating. Um, I haven't told you much about it, but... They have a lot of problems here. <laughs> um, the word is great. Like, their individual membership, like, for themselves is great. Like, the, the active members. But they are so cold with each other. Oh my gosh. And they are so cold when we bring investigators. It's so difficult to get people to, like, fellowship other people. And to, like, welcome them to the ward. And, like, when we have... Ward council is the worst thing ever. Um, we have ward council every Sunday morning at 7.30. And so... It's so ridiculous. The bishop just talks and talks forever about nothing. And like we never even get through our entire like informe of our investigators and our less actives. And like by the time like like we didn't even get through it all today. Like cause he just talks about random things and it's so frustrating. Yeah, like he he can never accompany us for like lessons or anything like that. Like we barely ever see him. And so like I feel bad, like I know he has like a lot of stuff to do, but I don't know, he's he's intense. Um and then, so yeah, Kensei de Barrio is ridiculous. And then, uh, um, after we, like, we go, we spend about, like, a half hour before church starts at 9 to, like, go and get, like, our investigators and stuff like that. And, like, sometimes we sign members. Is that an ant? Oh my gosh. There's an ant in my tea. Awesome. Um, I started drinking tea. Like, herbal tea and stuff like that. Yeah, here. Um, I love it. Marta Deppy like got me all into it. I really like it. I was usually like never like a hot drink person at all. Like I really didn't even like hot chocolate, but like I really like these teas. They're good. And so, um, anyways, back to Good Sailor Barrio. Um, so yeah, so like, then we like go get our investigators and stuff, or we like assign members like to go get them. And um, freaking Raul, oh my gosh! So he comes like every he, he's came three Sundays in a row now, or. So three Sundays in a row? Maybe he missed one somewhere, but three Sundays now he's came in the past like month or so since we found him. But he will not stay for priesthood. He stays for the first two hours, but he won't stay for priesthood. And like, he has to have three assistances to be able to be baptized, of course. And like, he's so ready to be baptized, but he like doesn't have any assistances because he won't stay for the full time. So that's so frustrating. Like we do everything we can to like, like I just wanna like, sit on his leg and like just hold on so he can't walk. Poor old man. He's so sweet though. Um, anyways, I'm gonna make a part two. This is part two of March 13th, Sunday. I'm talking about church stuff. Anyways, yeah, freaking Raul does not stay for three hours, but he's so great. He does all the questions in the back of the folletos and like, he's just so cool. I love him. He like so participates, he like participates so much in, in, um, gospel principles. And so he's, it's so great. Um, and so yeah, so we're still working with him and stuff, and then Ramiro, um, usually if we just text him, like, hey, we have church this morning at 9, he just comes. But today, like, he didn't come again. He only needs one more assistance to be able to be baptized. And, like, we still have a lot to teach, like, him, because we have two things very slow, we still have a lot to teach him. Um, like, I mean, we're on to the commandments, we've taught the first three lessons, but, like, I don't know, we definitely need to clarify a lot of things with him, make sure, like, he's getting it. And so, yeah, um... What else? That's Ramiro. Right now we have a less active lady. Super cool. I love her. Um, her name's Glenny. And she's probably like 40. And she has this daughter. She's divorced. And she has, so she has this 11 year old daughter though. Danielle. And Danielle has not been baptized. And so Danielle always sits on her mom's like. Because we're giving her mom the uh, reactivation lessons. And her mom's great. She comes to church like. She's came to church three times now in the past like month. And so we'll have like her reactivation interview. And then, but her daughter is like been sitting in on the lessons and stuff. And so like, we haven't really like counted any of them cause like we haven't 
it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know, we just asked her mom the other night, like, I asked her, like, hey, do you care, like, can we start, like, teaching your daughter the lessons, like, with, like, you guys there, and she's like, yeah, of course, and so, like, her so she'd ask her, so hopefully, like, the daughter, like, wants to, and so that'd be really cool, and that's, like, our investigator, like, our really prominent ones right now, uh, less actives, oh my gosh, they frustrate me so much, besides Glenny, Glenny's awesome, but other less actives frustrate me so much, because whenever we go to talk to them, they just complain to us about like their problems. Okay, like, this sounds very bad, but like, <laughs> they just complain to us about their problems, which is like fine. I mean, as missionaries, we're just kind of like psychiatrists, but we're, we're actually not even psychiatrists. I don't know, we're just problem listeners. And so, like, they tell us all their problems, and then, like, we're like, okay, are you praying? Are you reading your scriptures? Like, you're not coming to church. And they're like, yeah, like, eh. And I'm like, okay, these are the things, like, you know they're going to help you. Like, you know that you feel good when you do these things. But they won't do them. It makes me so mad. <sighs> Plus, actions really stress me out. And so, um, I don't know. It's just difficult when people don't keep their commitments. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is going to help you. And, like, you're going to receive blessings. Why are you denying yourself blessings? Oh, but, um... Yeah, so that's, so Sunday, today was good too, like, we didn't, um, we've started, like, dedicating Sundays just to, like, visiting members and, like, getting family home evenings set up so that we can bring our other investigators to them and, like, just working with them a lot to, like, um, get references and stuff and so today, like, we just visited a lot of members and it was really great, like, we, we had, like, an appointment almost every hour so it was really nice to have and, so yeah, we're just working a lot with members to get them to, like, fellowship others and, like, I don't know, the word here is crazy. Church. It starts at like, it starts like 10 minutes late every day. Marijuana, as I swear. But anyways, um, so that's pretty much what's happening right now. How much time does this video have? Okay, anyways, um, oh, I've been finished. But yeah, so that's kind of what's happening right now. Um, Spanish is getting good, better. Um, Tomorrow we're going to, they're called the Catacumbas, and it's like, it's kind of like that church I told you about in Rome with the, like, the bone church. It's kind of like that I think we're going to, and, but it's like Incan ruins, so that'll be cool. And yeah, but that's pretty much everything right now. Um, I love you, and I hope you're having a great week, and I hope everything's going cool, like, good with your business stuff. Let me know. I'm excited. Um, when are you thinking about moving out to Provo? You said like in two months. And so that means you're not going to be home for the summer and you're not going to have your, like, who's going to, who's going to like swim in the pond? It's really sad. Your dad will probably still swim by himself, but, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, okay, I hope you have a wonderful week and I love you lots and.